actually does. And now it's time for your favorite segment, which is our talk with the lovely and talented Susanna Baker. Susanna, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. How are you today? I'm doing fabulous. It was finally, I got to wear a sweater this weekend. How about that? I got to tell you, so did I. And I was out there. I hope all the Art Talk listeners were out there and the business listeners. We had Coconut Grove Art Festival. We had the South Beach, uh, uh, the, the boat show, uh, International Boat Show. We had Art Winwood, which I did the VIP night with Nick Korniloff and Pamela Cohen. Great job. Kudos to you guys. Um, and there was also a fabulous event, which I just learned of, really, shame on me, uh, the Festival of Arts at the Deering Estate at Cutler Bay. And the lovely Jennifer Tishammer's here. She's the assistant director to the Deering Estate and also works with the foundation. Good morning. Well, thank you so much for having us. Oh, I love it. I was looking at your website mm -hmm. and I was really enthralled because I'm always talking with my listeners about art, all the art happenings. And I said, why didn't I cover this? And I said, I have to call Jennifer, see if she could come on the mm -hmm. show and to talk about it, at least if I didn't get the beginning of it. And I do apologize. I won't miss out next year. We'll do something special with the art experience and the tour, hopefully. But I want to talk about, uh, you know, the Festival of the Arts is, uh, you know, again, the Deering Estate at Cutler Bay is made by community leaders, right? It's a charity organization to empower the arts through performance, visual, and you've been with the estate. Tell us a little bit about your history and coming on board. I've probably been with the estate for a little bit more than, than six years. Uh, the Deering Estate at Cutler is a public park. 444 acre nature preserve, archaeological preserve, um, cultural center, uh, listed on the National Register of Historic Places. We are supported by the Deering Estate Foundation, which is our community group or friends group that helps us with the fundraising. Um, and in the last sort of six to seven years, it has gone through an amazing growth. Um, we've become a regional and in some cases national leader in environmental education, uh, conservation and research. We are host to a comprehensive Everglades restoration um, plan project. And, and we are a very um, interesting center for the creation of art. Uh, you generally think of a historic home as a wonderful place to display art and exhibit art and engage artists. But it has this amazing dynamic of a historic home and wonderful natural setting that inspires artists. Um, and it, it kind of began, you know, that's how its, its mission began with our founder, Charles Deering. Well, I have to tell you, I have been uh, following some of the history here. And the Festival of the Arts really has taken a turn. Um, you know, it's, uh, I mean, you could find, like, again, like Jennifer said, it's a very historical setting, so you think you're going to come and see all this, which you do also. Mm -hmm. But there's these great programs that are in mm -hmm. the Festival of the Arts, really showcases mm -hmm. those uh, programs that are picked to be shown during that week of festivals. And I know one time you had 80 plays in one night. I mean, that was one of your great other ideas that was fabulous. Using um, visual and interactive performances, which is what really I think is fabulous. Let's talk about this year you had one week long a festival started mm -hmm. with the Valentine's concert on the lawn mm -hmm. then it continued to speak now Correct. which was a visual performance interactive right and that had some of the resident artists and then you have and talk to me about some of your resident programs yeah and I think to just to kind of give that overarching umbrella of the Festival of the Arts it really is the 10 day long celebration where we highlight all of our cultural arts program that take place throughout the year. So for example, we opened, you know, we opened um, the Speak Now exhibition, which was literary performance and visual art uh, evening on, on Saturday. But you can see that exhibit, you can see um, elements of that exhibit throughout the first two weeks of March. So still get out there to the estate, it's free with, with regular admission. Um, then we sort of begin to focus on um, continuing our visual and literary elements uh, for this festival. Tomorrow night, as an example, we are bringing in Bill Belleville, who is a local filmmaker, um, environmentalist, and worked on a, a piece of uh, 
of literature that has a tie back to Charles Deering. He uh, worked on the forward to From Eden to Sahara, which was a, a piece published by John Conkle Small, botanist, in the 1920s. Charles Deering funded um, John Conkle Small's expeditions in Everglades and on the Deering Estate chronicling our native flora and fauna. So Bill Belleville has a contemporary context and has been um, working with that piece as well as others. Then we go into our uh, Living Artist Concert Series, which is the Deering Estate Chamber Ensemble. And those are amazing individuals. Um, they all live in our community, but they bring in guest artists and guest composers uh, regionally, nationally, and internationally. Um, part of the, the concert uh, this this time is uh, we will have guest composer uh, Roberto Sierra um, who's working with us on this program and immediately go into a concerto competition with the Greater Miami Youth Symphony nice. Saturday morning and then we wrap up the Festival of the Arts with a new event this year which is our red carpet wrap up uh, red carpet wrap up Yes. I and love that. <laughs> we'll talk now some more about that Now, you're really one. wrapping up that. Now, let's, let's, mm -hmm. in your residence program, I asked uh, mm -hmm. Jennifer something uh, just before we came on the air, which was, you know, it must be so great to go to the Deering Estate and study and, and, and just, just get your performance or whatever it is, visual photography. I mean, that is such creative energies. I mean, I could just imagine being in that old time historic site with, you know, the river, you know, the, everything back there. It's so gorgeous. And your creative energies just must flow through your paintbrush, through your mm -hmm. lens of, as a photographer. And so I asked her, out of your residence, are there any that are really superstars? And she mentioned a few that really blew me away. My favorite, Christina Peterson, mm -hmm. which I love that. Um, you know, uh, she just does amazing, amazing works, uh, very detailed. It's all pencil, you know, it's all, you know, just basically pencil and paper. Uh, if you want to put it in simple layman's terms, of course, you also uh, say mail art. Sublime messages mm -hmm. in her work. And I was so pleased to hear she came from the Deering Estate. You know, sort of now that I see a lot of her, she uses a lot of these parakeets and stuff, I could see where she would get even more influenced. Our, our residency program, um, which by the way, there's applications out there now for Miami artists. Uh, they're due the first or second week in April, so let's make sure that you know, folks know how about would they, them. How would they get... Uh, Go on to the Deering Estate uh, website, DeeringEstate.org, and under our... Um, conservation restoration programs you can actually go into a section on artist residence or if you 